The judicial reforms in Israel has sparked unrest in the military and Prime Minister Netanyahu is under unprecedented pressure from his own forces. Elite Israeli Air Force pilots have vowed to sit out their training in protest against these controversial judicial reforms that have led to massive and almost unprecedented protests across Israel. The Israel Defense Forces chief has warned that the protests can spread in the ranks if this bill is not withdrawn. Netanyahu's judicial bill aims to reduce the powers of the judiciary, making some laws out of taking some laws out of the judicial purview. The bill also aims to give the executive more powers in the selection of judges, something that his critics believe will compromise the judiciary's powers. Members of a key Israeli Air Force squadron are refusing to participate in training day this week. 37 pilots are sitting out of reserve duty on Wednesday. They are members of the Israeli Air Force's 69th Squadron. They operate the F-151 fighter jets out of the Hadzerim Air Base and are referred to as the Hammers. They say they will instead devote their time to dialogue and reflection for the sake of democracy and national unity. And this is not just pilots. Herzi Halevi, the Israeli Defense Forces Chief of Staff, has also expressed serious concerns to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, saying the army's operational capacity could be harmed. Even Defense Minister Yoav Gallant has shared this concern. The Defense Minister has called for a compromise on judicial reforms. This comes after 150 Israeli army reservists said they will stop reporting for duty if the judicial reforms are proceeded with. Now, the ruling coalition in Israel, led by Prime Minister Netanyahu, has called for talks with the opposition over the stalemate on the judicial reforms bill. But the opposition wants a freeze on the legislation altogether, even before arriving at the negotiating table. National Unity Party head Benny Gantz has said there is no need to wait till Tuesday night for a meeting. Addressing the ruling coalition, he said, announce you are stopping this legislation and we will meet today. The judicial reforms introduced by Prime Minister Netanyahu's government has sparked massive protests across Israel. The protests are underway for the ninth consecutive week and thousands of Israelis have taken to the streets. There has been unprecedented pushback from the people as well as the defense forces this time. This could very well force the government into a corner and force it to arrive at a compromise. Since the opposition says they will begin negotiating only once the bills are halted. For more on this, our correspondent Jodi Kohan sent us this report. 37 out of 40 reservists from the elite 69th IAF fighter jet squadron said they will attend service if operations are needed, but won't attend a training session on Wednesday in protest at the government's judicial reform plans. Amid warnings from the IDF chief and defence minister that the reservist protest could spread, there are growing calls for talks to reach a compromise. With the public holiday on Tuesday, Parliament will not be convening from late Monday until Thursday. The coalition has agreed to use the time to talk and called on the opposition to suggest alternative proposals. The opposition have called for a 60-day pause before they will talk. This is Jodie Cohen for We On, World As One.